Hello. much. You can just listen to the, the narrator. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Voice. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Very strange game. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. I'm not sure. Fella got a piece of a load. So bear with me. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. I'm sure I'll get more used to it. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Windbags start turning up for last call. Start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. The kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. I'm not sure how long this game is. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Yes, much better than the gun. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. It wasn't long before the kid could loose an arrow, strong and true. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land.
good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. Right back at ya. Arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Get on his way. The bastion's real close now. A chunk of alloy, the smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. The kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Some out of his misery. City's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. Yes, yes, I do. Somersault like crazy. Last, the 
Skyway is in sight. Whisks him where he needs to go. I escalated quickly. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power on that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. The art stuff in this game is amazing. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. <laughs> Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. The kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind in the distant lands. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. There he is, the oldest scumbag of them all, Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's oh, sunny oh. disposition. Shit. They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. Oh. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. No, crest on this one. no core, no surprise. No crest. Likely oh. gas fellas are hiding it from him. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Kid can fine tune those instruments of his. I think I'd rather have better bow first. That takes priority. With a good length of me's gut, that bow's like new again. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Scumbag and 
shares just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Oops, did you see that? Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman was keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Yes, to me. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. The windbags used to be all right, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Thank you. 